kids, welcome back. Today I have an Aldi haul for you guys. I feel like I have not been there in a while, so I thought I would go check it out today, and it was really nice. I should have actually just probably filmed in there a little bit for you guys. There was like nobody there. It's a great experience. Now, when I do go to Aldi though, I have to say there is certain things that I am always looking forward to because for one reason or another, they are the store that has certain things that I cannot find anywhere else. And I will definitely show you some of those items I'm talking about, but on the flip side of that, I actually needed to pick up a couple things that I'm completely out of, hemp seeds and coconut aminos. And I thought they had hemp seeds. I could have swore they did, but they didn't have either. So that kind of sucks. So I'm gonna have to go somewhere else soon. But anyway, <laughs> but of course, keep your eye out. You never know when new things are popping in. You never know. But anyway, I will get into this haul. I'll put the prices with everything for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Please do give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Be sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so first thing I did get is some yellow onions here. I will say just in general, their produce is so well-priced. I really appreciate that, especially when you really need to stock up, you know? Uh, with that though too, I did do my best on many of these things to get organic where I could, but that can be sometimes the hard thing is not always do they have everything in that option, but you know, do your best. But anyway, again, got the yellow onions, got some white onions here. I will make some more pico this week delicious you gotta have the white onion although I've done it with the red too and it's actually really good but if you can get your hands on this get this <laughs> anyway got those and then if you know you know my friends I will link the recipe below but anytime I purchase this you already know what's going down in the kitchen I am definitely gonna make my uh so Frida's recipe I absolutely love it and it actually has been a few weeks I'm gonna show you um, a couple other ingredients I did pick up that you can kind of amend this recipe so I'll definitely show you that but we definitely need to have the poblano chili peppers if you cannot find these not every grocery store has them I have done the recipe once without these and did Anaheim chili peppers and apparently they're very close in flavor but maybe slightly more on the spicy side just letting you know but it did work out just fine too but ideally poblano i did get some uh broccoli crowns here too they were really good price love broccoli love air frying it so good got some of these baby bell mushrooms for nate he loves these and then i did get one thing here of the romaine lettuce again this is in organic a lot of this stuff is got some spring mix here just you know mix it up i did get one thing of cilantro again to make that pico Got some jalapenos again for the pico, good stuff. One of my favorite things, I know it's so random, but one of my favorite things from Aldi is their fresh peeled garlic. I love it. I spend so much time in the kitchen chopping and prepping stuff and I actually really enjoy doing it but I don't enjoy doing garlic. So I always take this route when I'm there. It lasts actually a very long time in the fridge too. So just do it, you know? <laughs> anyway, got that. Got some organic avocados as well. There's like five in here. I've actually been out for like a week. Don't even know how I functioned, but I did. <laughs> but now we're, we got them back. So we're good. I also got two things of asparagus here. This is still a really good price where we are. And I'm going to take advantage until it is not. I love asparagus. So good. I got four Roma tomatoes here uh, again for the salsa in mind, as well as three little limes here too. I like to put some lime juice in the salsa. Delicious. Got one thing here of celery. I'll probably just chop that up for Nate to have just to a quick bite, you know, dunk it in peanut butter and you're on your way. I also got these mandarin oranges. I have a few left that I popped into the fridge, but I'm definitely low and I just love eating mandarin oranges. They're so good. Great vitamin C, obviously. So I'm definitely going to keep this in the lineup for a while. Got one pineapple here. I wasn't really planning on it, but it was such a good price. So I went for it. Got that. I got one cantaloupe too. I got one last week and it was good. So I hope this is a good one as well. Completely out of bananas right now, like fresh ones. I did freeze a couple just for like smoothies and stuff. These are definitely very green. So they'll have a little time to sit out and ripen up a bit. Got two mixed bell peppers as well, just for various things throughout the week. And then I did get a few berries here as well. Luckily, these did have an organic option. I do try to do that with berries when I can. Sometimes again, it does happen. Sometimes it doesn't, but got two packs here of the strawberries. These are totally the same. They're just in like different 
packaging. I don't know, but got some of those. Got some blackberries for Nate. He really enjoys those. And of course, the blueberries for me. It's my favorite. Got some lemons too. I'm completely out. And then I got these green grapes. They look delicious, so I went for it. I gotta say, again, Aldi has just like really a good variety of produce. I know that some people have said that in their experience, they totally agree, they stock up too, but sometimes they have the issue of it like not lasting as long as sometimes other places. And I totally get it. I mean, I've, I've had that happen though too, even from like Whole Foods where you wouldn't expect it, you know? Overall, I haven't really had that issue, knock on all things, from Aldi. So I do recommend, you know, going for it when it's a good price but I get it, sometimes that can just happen. Oh, one more produce item here. I got some Granny Smith apples as well. I do have a few red apples left again in the fridge, but not too many, so I went with the green ones this time. Okay, again, I think that was all the produce, I think. Okay, we got there. I got some flatbread here, this Fit and Active flatbread. It's 90 calories, I think there's eight in here, no, six in here had this before it's very very good my favorite of course if you guys know and follow all my hauls already you know i've been buying lavash bread pretty much week to week that is a favorite but this is really really good too the only thing i want to point out to you guys i didn't even see it this time specifically but i swear i have in the past this brand they also do carry like sliced bread and if I remember right, that one is not vegan. I believe it has honey in it. So just be careful of that. But these are vegan friendly and they're good. They are. I love their breads in general. I have to say I've been really happy with like the varieties that they have. And it's just so good. But I mean, sourdough is good from anywhere, right? You got to do it. So I got a big old thing here of sourdough bread. And then I also got this super seed mini yet mighty super seed bread. It is vegan. Um, I would say it's a good kind of like, you know, fake out to like the Dave's killer bread. I personally think Dave's killer bread can't really be beat, <laughs> but this is still really good. So I got that. Again, the tofu thing. I know a lot of Aldi's apparently do not have tofu, but I will tell you, my friends, if yours does, stock up. I have not found it anywhere cheaper ever for what it is. And I say that too, because this one actually is organic too, and it's $1.75 each. Like you kind of just can't beat it. And I actually prefer that it's the extra firm one too. Like if I had my preference, that's what I would pick. So I always stock up. So I got a few of those, got six of them. And they always have a great shelf life too. So again, that's why I do take advantage when they are there. Okay, again, back to that Sofrida's recipe this is always something that I add to it I've pretty much told you guys to like this is a must you have to do it it makes all the difference in the world and the flavor brings it definitely a lot of heat and smokiness to it now with that said I personally love it you guys know it's like one of my favorite recipes I have but Nate loves it too but obviously if you know Nate my husband he doesn't love spicy things. And one time I made it and I didn't have this and didn't realize until I was like halfway in. And I was like, oh, what am I going to do? And he's like, that's fine. Leave it out. I'm like, no, it needs something. <laughs> and I happened to have this in my pantry, just these chopped green chilies. And I just threw these in here and a few jalapenos. I seeded them first, but I threw both those in instead of this and he loved it. I feel like it did taste still very similar, but it didn't have that smokiness or heat that I really like. So it is an option. If you want to tone it down, substitute this, like a can of this and maybe one or two jalapenos seeded and try that out. And you might like it more if you're kind of like him where you don't want it too intense, but I love it. So I got both. If he plays his cards right, maybe I'll make him a batch like this. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, just thought I would tell you guys that because you guys know that's such a favorite recipe in this house. Okay, I did stock up on a few cheeses. Now this one I even mentioned on the video I did about a month ago now of like non-dairy alternatives that are favorites. This is one of them. This is so good. And this is also one of those that I have personally not been able to find anywhere else besides Aldi. 
It's delicious. They have it in a provolone too. They have it in shreds. I just went ahead and got like the deli slices in American. Totally had it before. I put it into wraps, sandwiches, um, burgers. It melts really well. It's just such a favorite of mine. It really is. I think we even did like a grilled cheese too. So good. But again, for me, this is the only place I can find it. But when I made that video too, I know a lot of you mentioned that you can find this brand at your Sprouts. So I just throw that out there for you too. Check it out because get your hands on it. It's so good. <laughs> then I saw that they have this Parmella Creamery. And I believe, I, I don't want to tell you 100%, but I don't think I've actually had this brand before. Or if I did, it was only like one variety and maybe in like shreds or something. I know I haven't had this. And I also think if I'm remembering correctly, that this is a pretty expensive brand. I think it's at Whole Foods, right? Am I wrong? I don't know. It's ringing a bell, but I thought it was pretty pricey. So when I saw it there, I was like, you know what? We're going to try it out. So I got the fiery jack, kind of like a pepper jack. And then I got the sharp cheddar. Again, they had this available too in shreds as well. And then they even, I think, had this in a mozzarella shred too, I think. Sometimes it all becomes a blur, right? But I went with those for this time. And then I did go ahead and get more of the Muala banana milk. I always get this at uh, Aldi. And again, this is another one that I have not been able to find anywhere but there. However, I think it was my last Sprouts haul. It was either the last one or the one before. I did find that they had the Muala keto milk is what they call it. And it was in the cinnamon roll flavor. I think it's coming in my next empties actually, but I gotta just, you know, give a spoiler alert. It's incredible. It is. And they have other flavors too. Again, at Sprouts for that keto milk by this brand. I think they had like a chocolate chip, something delicious. I don't even know. If you can find this, try it. I think you will love it. This one in particular, to me, sort of takes on like a chai flavor. And I think it's because it has cinnamon in it. And I don't know, something about it. It just does. And I love it. So good. Then I wanted to get some more hummus. You guys know the drill. I always put this into like the wraps that I make. And I love Aldi hummus. It's very good and very affordable. So I went with the roasted garlic one this time. And then out of the corner of my eye, I saw this and I thought of Nate. It is vegan vegan, gluten-free as well. Carrot cake is one of his like all-time favorite desserts. And so I thought he would really like this. The funny thing with like dessert hummuses, in fact, Trader Joe's has that like chocolate one. And I stayed away from it for so long because I think it was more of a mental thing of like hummus and dessert just like doesn't really go together in my mind, right? And then I finally tried it and I have to say it was like chocolate frosting. It was so good. I loved it. It's just kind of weird, right? So I hope this is one of those same stories where it's like it sounds kind of weird to be a hummus, but what if it's amazing? You know what I mean? And then my friends, if you know, you know. At first in my cart, I had a blend as I normally do from Trader Joe's even of the like Trek mix that has the pineapple pieces in it had something very similar again today in my cart. I was like, I'm doing it because I saw the pieces. And then I was moving down a little bit the aisle and then I just saw these all by itself. And I said, I don't even need the trail mix. Just give me this. You guys know, I love dried pineapple, like sugared pineapple. Oh, it's a treat. I love it. I love that they have it like this too. <laughs> so that's mine. I got that. This was a new item, I believe anyway. It's called the Brecky Bites. That kind of reminds me too, at Sprouts, again, the last haul I did, I got those overnight Brecky oats is what they were called. And Nate took those for the week and he actually really liked them. So I'll give you that feedback. But this just kind of reminded me because of the name. But these are, again, gluten-free, allergy-friendly, and vegan. Just little banana chocolate, like kind of like oatmeal cookie bites it looks like. We'll see. They also had like a mixed berry one as well. I got some pickles for Nate. He like made a comment earlier last week. He's like, I made a sandwich. It was okay. I need pickles. So I was like, oh dear Lord. <laughs> 
these are for him. Anyway, running low on mustard, so I did get some more of that as well. And then these two are also new to me, my friends. Maybe, at least I have not seen them before. Let me know if you have, but they're butternut squash crackers, one in sea salt and one in the cinnamon brown sugar. But they take on the look of a Cheez-It, but it's not claiming to be. Should we try them? Let's try them. Let's do it, why not? All right, so these are the cinnamon brown sugar ones. Now that I got them out of the bag, they don't quite take on, they're very thin, of uh, a Cheez-It look, but they do on the box, they do. They're wonderful. Mmm. Oh, those are good. <laughs> You know what? I bet. I'm gonna try something else real quick. I feel like it actually does kind of take on like a cheese it taste too. Oh, I like that. Let's try this hummus. I'm not as big of a carrot cake person. Like I don't hate it, but as much as Nate. But oh, it smells like frosting. I'm telling you, it's like the weirdest thing. You would not expect hummus to be a dessert, but here we are. Oh my God. I'm kind of hungry too. Oh, that's good. Get those, get this. It's, it tastes like frosting. It tastes like a carrot cake frosting. And I'm not kidding. I don't taste any chickpea, which is hummus, right? in it. Ooh, dang. Okay, let's try the sea salt ones, which I'm sure are good, but those cinnamon brown sugar ones, I'm just saying, those are, those are real good. Same look, just not as like coated, but there's some big chunks of, of sea salt on them. Can you see that? You need to know. I appreciate the effort. Do you see the little, little sea salt? Mm -hmm. These are good. Okay, the cinnamon brown sugar are definitely like better, more flavor, but they're delicious. Anyway, I'm gonna go continue eating these now. Okay, one more of the carrot cake thing. <laughs> Let's go back in. I'm telling ya. That is incredible. That's nuts. Wow. Well, there's that. Anyway, my friends, I will put the total here. It really was not too much at all. Gotta love Aldi. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.